Hi guys! This is Desiree of the Succulent Therapy. We are back again with another video and today will be our May update. I hope that you are doing well and as you might have remembered, I said on my past videos that I will be changing something tremendously. Uh, this one includes it. So uh, we have this terracotta pot right here. In this video, I'm going to discuss or to share why I chose this one as a replacement for my plastic pots. And then first things first, um, I just want to um, share where did I get these pots. They are really beautiful and look at this size. They are on that size right here. So this is the biggest one of them that I got so I got them with four different sizes which is this one is the number one the bigger one this one and then the smaller um, one like this one right here this one's the smaller version of that one and then the bigger ones and then the smaller version of it in here so that's what I got. I got them from four different sizes. And the seller is um, Adora Pots in Clay. They are so kind to send this one to me and it is really fast. And so far, uh, the packaging is nice. They are secured. And I only have one cracked um, pot, which is the ones that we did a video yesterday. This is it. Uh, we made an arrangement for that one um, to recycle the pot and then to make it look nice even though it's broken so that's the one this is the only ones that is broken uh, all the other 199 pieces are in good good quality and I really really recommend the seller of pots so before we proceed to the plant tour, I'm just going to share why I chose this terracotta pot as a replacement for my plastic pots. Uh, number one reason is because this terracotta pot allows your succulents to breathe, breathe more free. And uh, we have this terracotta pot right here that drinks extra moisture from your soil so you wouldn't have to worry about uh, over watering and something like that as long as your soil also is well draining at least 50 percent so that's the reason main reason why i got this terracotta pots and i switched to them and then the second one the reason why i did get just as the size of the plant look at this one right here uh, I think it uh, oversized the pot is because I want them to be compact and I don't want them to grow vigorously or something big I just want them to be small compact and beautiful so that's what I like with them so I switched with smaller pots terracotta pots and that's my goal with this one right here Okay, so we are going to do the plant tour. Here is our dusty rose right here, looking so beautiful also. So this one is the cat's claw. Um, this one is on one piece. As I was transplanting this one, remember that this one is in the uh, bigger pot and uh, this one is the mother plant and all of this one are the uh, offsets so uh, i think that uh, they are separated but when i got them out they are really on one piece so um, i think i said to myself that I'll, I'll just keep them that way in a way they will look beautiful with that one you can see two four six they have six they look really really beautiful this is an echeveria elegance by the way we have our letizia you remember that this one is red before but it turned green so we are hopefully uh hoping that this one will turn red again so da vinci code 
looking so beautiful with its leaves um, look at this one it's my first time this year experiencing sunburn on my mother plants look at that this one has roots and everything but it got sunburn so yeah i think climate change is real really really real because i didn't i don't um, experience this one before it's just now really but that one's beautiful we have this new leaves right here they're really coming up so nicely and we're okay with that this one i thought is the dami or echeveria dami but the real name of this one is echeveria macadamia macadamia is the complete name of that one so uh, i think she doesn't want to be called dami <laughs> she is macadamia okay so next one is the sedum clavatum we have this as a plant gift and this is my older older succulent um i think this is one year old i got this one from one stem this one right here and this one are the offsets uh i think after a year so you can see one two three and many more if you might be wondering why your clavatum doesn't smell or doesn't uh, have fragrance that is because they are still small they weren't stressed at all so you have to wait this one I didn't smell anything from this one uh, until now until now that I have them for a year uh, this is stressed last April that's when the scent came out and then it disappears again so uh, this one is so uh, so so fragrant when it is stressed also the pastel color of this one is really really beautiful so that is my old clavatum these are the new ones that is given by a follower thank you thank you so much for that and then this one is the german champagne our lawi i am really really careful when i am transplanting them and I did pluck some leaves as you can see right here and overall they're doing good though we can see some of the scars right there but that's okay you can come up to that and the next one is the Echeveria linguas you might have remembered that this one doesn't look like this before let me focus my camera a bit this one doesn't look like this before it's just um uh, I'll find some pictures of it when it's still looking so terrible but here it is right now so that's the thing when you get bigger succulents you will expect that on the first year the uh, old leaves will kind of wilt they will have fungus and the leaf on the top will be the ones left but on the second year they will come back to you and look normal they will look beautiful so this one is on the second year for me and it is only now that it was it is like this so in the previous months i've been really really patient waiting for this one to kind of blow up and now it is so that's a really really good thing with patience so this one also is an example i got this one on a big size and look at how it turned out over a year uh, it had struggled also it had shredded or shattered some leaves um, i had some fungus on them and then i just i just did my best to have patience and then wait for them to kind of recover so this one is the second year for me and it's just this time that they are going to do well i think so we have that one and that one really beautiful and we have this alpine right here crested beautiful our monroe and this one is the um, agavoides red blush that's really beautiful right there i hope that this one will turn red again i miss it but yeah it's really beautiful and then the next one is this one right here we have this um orion right here which is looking so beautiful it is big um i just wanted to yeah produce some offsets i think it will be beautiful and the next one is this one ice green you might be wondering 
uh, if ice green and green eyes are different yes they are different the green eyes is kind of different from this one they are also green but this one has a lighter color so ice green and green eyes are different and so let's move on with this one this is also a dark eyes um, it's a very uh, dark eyes so you can see that it's kind of looking like rondo or something like that but no it's not it's um, darker and we can see some of its farina and the dark tip right there the rondo is kind of greenish we have this shiny shiny leaves and then the red tip yeah that's the rondo and then champagne uh, this one is a Korean hybrid also this one is from the uh, Lawi because that one you can see the line right there with the uh, with the uh, Farina that is uh, from Lawi. So uh, oftentimes the breeders like to breed Lawi a lot because they are really good. They have really thick farina it, and it brings something to a hybrid. And it's really good. So anyway, the spelling of this one is Champagne. Champagne. Yeah, not the champagne, champagne like champagne drink. It's Champagne. Yeah, so that's the spelling of this one and i like it this is the regular one i think yeah and this one is the rippling water okay moving on we have this barn bold and laura um the thing is with this one um the id of the seller is kind of wrong uh the id of this one was written as a uh, paul bunyan and when i confirmed it it is a baron bold this one the written name of this one is cream tea but when i confirmed it it is laura which is the hybrid also of uh, lawi but that's okay that's the thing when you are buying succulents if you are not sure if that one is the right plant you might want to search so that's the thing with buying succulents you might want to check the ids that your seller had given you and check if uh, they are the right plant and then if uh, you don't it's up to you if you want to question the seller or if you want to do something but it's really nice to know the id or the real id of your plant because sometimes uh, some of our sellers are also confused so the ids of our succulents are really also confusing okay we have the purple champagne momoka right here we also have this aerial right here which is a uh, lawi hybrid also yeah that's lawi so we can see that dot dot right there so we have this this mention right here which is really beautiful with its farina also and this one is the mother plant baby plant this is a leaf propagation from this one right here um this is a shavayana curl which is beautiful so that one is the luella this one turns red when it is stressed but it is turning two headed so that's the thing with luella also when you propagate the leaf of that one you can have two heads crested something like that and yeah my mother plant ended crested also yeah okay next one is the robidona which is turning violet or is that pink yeah oh my goodness i can see it i see you beautiful color right there it's stressing already so yeah anyway that's ruby donna we have this hera right here some people pronounce this as hella hera something like that but i prefer hera that's a really cute name and then the next one is the black queen you can see this black right there and looking so compact and hard i like that really beautiful variegated bear spa we have the flowering magic fire and then if this one will close up you can see the reddish um, outside in here and the inner leaf is kind of green so this one when it is uh, stressed it will close and it will look so so beautiful this will look so good when it is clumped okay red moon it's a very uh, red moon 
beautiful with its dark dark um, maroon like rosette we like that and this one is our propagation with Echeveria white ones really beautiful tree headed right there uh, this is almost one year or more but they're really really looking so beautiful and growing so so nicely we might have to separate that one but I think they look fine they're beautiful next one is Lorenzes really beautiful name Sedum Atomy this one loves water very much uh, it needs water and it's it's producing a lot of babies you can see that one up there there's so so many yeah and I love it just keep on producing I don't mind that we have this Monroe right here this is the baby plant and that one is the mother plant right there the ones that we did see a while ago yeah that's a mother plant this is the baby plant and painted frills I like that pink pink color right there red ruby this one comes on one piece also so I decided to put them in there okay so next one is the lovely rose which is looking so beautiful I like this one also when it is clump baby finger which loves water very much so if you can see that on the lower leaf we can see some wrinkles in there but that's okay we can deal with that but this plant loves water very much so that you can keep this uh, little fingers really healthy and plump but this one loves sun also so if you give water and the right amount of sun then you will have some pinkish and plump uh, baby finger next one is the tiny berger it's like snow bunny but it's really beautiful this one is the sedum kragai you can see that it has a lot of babies also i've been waiting for this one to produce some babies and it did yay and there are a lot of them yeah so that's really beautiful this is a kind of pink succulent something like that beautiful really fantastic fountain we have this um debbie graptovaria debbie we have this dark bader um tituban this one is on one piece this is the esther uh crown ball which we have done a water therapy this is the crown ball i'm sorry that it's light and dark and something like that but yeah um variegated suyon the clara this is the clara and the lawi x lola so you might have seen the other hybrids um, bring out some lawi x lola and they look different that's okay some of the hybrids really can look different depending on the uh, person that created them so some uh, lola or lawi x lola can look different from this one but I like this form. They are really chubby, which they got from the Lawi and the Farina right there was from Lawi also. The pink color was from the uh, Lola right here. You can see that Lola right there. We have this outer part that is looking so beautiful. So this is the Lawi X Lola. Next one. We have this pink Saragose. I like the normal Saragose, but yeah, I think I'll get that one next. This the this is the Alice Evans. Uh, this one is also fragrant when it is stressed. Trust me, really, really fragrant, just like the Sedum Clavatum. Okay, next one is some of the Ganzu. Ganzu, um, Subcorimboza Lawi Thirty. We have Torgilita right here, Orange Sherbet, um, Rose Queen, and then this one is the Beyond. We have this Lowlandisiana. This is a hybrid of Lawi and Lindisiana. And they're really beautiful with that. Really, really 
um, bright pop of pink and then some farina right there grassula thumb stump and of course my oldest succulent this is a sedomodolfi and you can kind of see the journey of plant as they grow with their stem you can see that this one has a woody stem on this part and uh, that's when you know that this one is old because it's kind of barky uh, you might classify the newer stem by seeing the stem as a green yeah that's the young young stem and you can also see some of the process of the plant on the stem you can see them growing compact growing attenuated and something like that but yeah that's okay this one is my first love and my favorite this is a adolfi anyway okay so let's uh, look at this one a bit this are hanging plants ruby necklace and also wait i'll get this one for a minute um mm, burrito right here we have our burrito looking so so many i don't know if you can see it but yeah let me bring you back up and the other ones is there i can't really get it but yeah okay moving on to this side as you can see we have the string of pearls right there that we just resetted i decided to put them in that pot so that they will look so beautiful and so uh, when i hang them they will just look fine with their block pot you can see also the cutting some of our prostata um, we have this uh, propagation of some apricot or the variegated tito buns, greenovia, obriculata, dinner plate, we have that one right there, molokinienses, hernandesii, um, painted lady, white coffee, benbaris, propagation of our sedum george, we have angel fingers, we have pretty in pink right here, Durin Burgii. We also have this one right here, Amethystinum, which is maybe, maybe my oldest propagation. This is over a year and it is really, really small still. This one is the String of Hearts Variegated, Obesum. We have this Moon Glow. Uh, propagations cuttings apricot and others we have cactus right there and I'm going to show you some interesting thing right here I have my splitting uh, lithops right there this month and they're splitting and kind of producing some babies also next one is this one Hawarthia, some of this, and other things. So we also have down in here. So down in here, we have this random things. This one is the Graptopetalum tiana, um, Perpasarum, or the Fabiola. We have this variegated Gumfire, Diamond State. We have this Lilacina right here and some other propagations right there we also have some of our propagations down here and more 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 propagations also in this side i have this mayanas right here we have the watermelon some mayanas some other leafy stuff uh, petunias um, peperomias because I just want to take good care of them and to know them better I also want to try new things aside from vegetables succulents and cacti uh, though my grandma planted a lot of this she has a lot uh, but I want to learn it myself and uh, kind of ask her for her guidance so I really really like that we have some photos right there yeah so let's move on to that side 
on this side we have our graviolens cuttings right here you can see that they're close up on this side we can see some of our graviolens cuttings right here uh, you can see that the leaves are closed but that's okay they are roots already so if they have roots they're starting to drink up some water and the leaves will just look fine and they will open up in a little while okay so next one we have this firestorm this is a propagation from leaves there are many leaves in here this one is the sedum shangrila looking so beautiful and this one also is really really fragrant when it is stressed also this is clumped our john daniels atlantis or the peaches and cream golden glow our senman right there and marinade um, we have some of the shooting star uh, ripple jade purple delight and the dugong right there I transferred this one on this big pot because they are a big succulent whether you plant them on a small pot or big pot they are still big so yeah I decided to just plant them in there and kind of do their thing uh, some other stuff right there uh, avocado cream and this one is a lipstick agavoidus lipstick that is not having a head you can see that one right there so yeah i think i'm going to wait for this one to have some babies showing up on the side that will take a time but that's okay we can wait for that vampire red ball crazy ryan um, raffine uh, we have this white coffee cupid violet queen sphinx thank you for the ones who did give this one from our supporter also uh, some other plants right there and our one-year-old propagations you can see that one right there and as we move down we have this one's right here propagations these are new ones actually and this one is the propagation from january this is how they look like right now i think i'm uh, figuring out how to do the video of this one because i compiled a lot of them yeah so this one is the graptopetalo melon and as we move down we have my one year old propagations also in here so you can see ice green um echeveria white ones hercules pearl von nunberg some lilacina dusty rose and other things they're growing up so so mm. nicely and that's how my plants are doing today i hope that your plants are doing well too if you have some questions you may comment it down below i may find some time to answer it on the next video i will do a video for that answering your questions if i do know some of your questions uh, i want to communicate with you and uh, yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing i really appreciate it and yeah i forgot to show you this one these are the marine uh, ellen we have this pendants right here this is so so fragrant believe me buy this one mendez a we have ellen uh, marine burrito uh, Mendeze and other things so that's it for today's video um, I hope that you are doing well and always keep safe God bless